Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you all are here today. I just finished voting, which is so awesome and incredible. I decided to vote a little bit early just because I work on Tuesday, and so it's just gonna be a little bit tricky to get to the voting polls in time. And so I voted ahead of time, and I'm just excited to have one thing off of my plate. And while I was in line voting, Malachi lost his tooth. This morning, his tooth was like a little bit wiggly. It actually started yesterday. So quick, you guys. I cannot believe it. So I was so excited to go home. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but this is just so big, you guys. I like seriously started getting teary because he lost his freaking tooth. I can't believe that. So I'm excited to go home and see his cute little mouth. Malachi. Let me see! Wow! Whoa, it's huge! I know, it's so long! Whoa. Get it out. Let me see your mouth. Wow, you're a big boy! <laughs> Does it feel weird? Not anymore. Not anymore, just initially? Can, can you give me my tooth? Yeah. Can, can we just <laughs> putting it back in? kind of silly and then you just ripped it out he didn't just even like say anything he, he was just playing in the house and he walks over and he hands it to me crazy buddy did it bleed hardly when i got when when i got out when you got it out then I it mean, bled a little I just a little not like not, it was bleeding at the pool yesterday I, it was bleeding at the pool it was yeah really it was bleeding it was bleeding on the bottom and yeah. my mouth. And your mouth? Yesterday. Today? No. no. Yeah. Oh. When That's so cool. When your coop comes out, the, the coop and your right, when your coop comes out, it's blood. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Should we go try to find the tooth fairy pillow? Yeah. Okay. It's a butterfly. Right? Okay, so this is your tooth fairy pillow. Let me see. Whoa. Do you want me to read the note? Do I sleep? Lost a tooth. Now don't you worry, Mark Moeller will be there in a hurry. In my pocket, your tooth I'll keep the whole night long while you're fast asleep. In the morning, there will be a nice surprise to you from me. Gee, that was fun. It's been quite a day, but please listen closely to what I say. For happy shiny teeth, your toothbrush is the boss. Eat your veggies, everyone, and don't forget to floss. So fun. Okay, okay. So you put the tooth in the pocket. What do you think you're gonna get in the morning? Money. You think you're gonna get money? Oh, well, you don't have a piggy bank. You can't have money. Can you have money without a piggy bank? Oh, I got a different place I can. Okay, as long as you have a safe place. I'm not able to. Where do you think you'll keep it? I can't believe how big you look with your tooth really? on. Well, I think I will have um, I maybe have fake. You'll have to think about where to keep it safe. Yeah. Okay. We'll find chippies. a good spot. Oh, Grandma. You had chippies. Grandma. I wanted to show you guys another soup recipe. So I'm going to make a potato ham soup. And it is a little bit higher in points compared to my other soups, but it is so delicious. And I just love warm, cozy things this time of year as it's starting to get colder. So come make some soup with me. For this recipe, we're going to use some chicken stock, kale, two potatoes, ham, cashew milk to make it nice and creamy, and the secret ingredient, black pepper, makes it taste so good. I just got a bone-in ham, ham? <laughs> I don't really know how you say that. A bone-in ham, and I just cut up small pieces, and then I did weigh it just to be accurate on points, and this is 14 points worth of ham. That is definitely where most of the points will come in for this soup, but it is so worth it for how flavorful and satisfying it is. I'm going to start by adding eight cups of chicken broth to my pan. If I had celery, onions, or carrots, I would also add these to the recipe. I would saute the onions and celery first and then add in the chicken stock, but I just don't have those today, so this is going to have to do. 
And then we'll add our ham in so it gets the chicken broth flavored really well. And then while the chicken broth is heating up, I'm gonna dice up my potatoes. So I have washed these potatoes beforehand and then we'll just dice, dice them up into small pieces. Potatoes are four points a piece. So it definitely adds points, but it also keeps you satisfied. So I think it's worth it for the points. This also freezes really well. And so if you do have leftovers, just put it in a glass container and it will freeze really well. And you can just take it out when you need a meal. When I add carrots, onions, and celery, it adds extra vegetables, which is really nice. Vegetables are the hardest thing for me to get in my diet on a regular basis. So I try to add vegetables in my soups where I can, but today I'll just be adding kale because that's what I have available. But really whatever vegetables you have, you could throw in. Whatever you enjoy in your soups. Okay. And then once your potatoes are diced, we're going to add them to the pan. It's fine if it's not boiling yet because your chicken broth will be boiling soon. So now we'll add our potatoes to the chicken broth. We'll bring the chicken broth to a boil and just wait until the potatoes are soft and tender. Now that it's boiling, we'll cook this for about five minutes and then the potatoes should be done, but we will check them before we add anything else in. So it's been about five minutes. So I'm gonna take one potato out and just see if it's soft. Perfect. So it's nice and soft. So we'll throw in, I'm gonna do three cups of kale. I don't measure this out. This is probably more than three cups, but a lot of kale. It shrinks really easily. We'll mix that all in. And then I'm going to add in three cups of cashew milk. The cashew milk will make it nice and creamy, give extra volume for really low points. Stir that and see how it looks. Looks perfect. And then we'll add in lots of black pepper. So I don't necessarily measure it. You just kind of do it to your own taste, but I will say the more the merrier, at least for me. So I'm gonna do quite a bit of black pepper because that's what I enjoy. Give this a taste. I might even do more black pepper, but I'm gonna give it a try and see what it tastes like. Perfect. I am gonna add a little bit more. I like it super peppery. And just because there's so much volume here, you need quite a bit of pepper. So we'll let that simmer for about 10 minutes and then our soup is done. So our soup is done. And when I calculated out the points, there's 24 points in all of the soup and there's 14 cups. So it comes to two points a cup. And if you wanted to stretch it even farther, you could add more chicken broth. I grabbed more chicken broth in mine, so there's even more meat and potatoes and kale in the rest of the soup because I think I might add some extra chicken broth just to make it, make it stretch a little bit farther with, for lower points. So all of this, because this is two cups, this is four points. An amazing meal for only four points. 
I find it super helpful to have something warm. It just keeps me full longer. So soup is something super beneficial for me. I get veggies in and it just keeps me full a little bit longer. Okay, now that we're ready for bed, we're gonna take our tooth fairy and our toothless smile and get ready for bed. We're gonna go put the tooth fairy next to our bed, right? You wanna read this again? I don't know if it's a tooth fairy man or a tooth fairy. Yeah, we'll find out maybe. Maybe the tooth fairy will write you a letter. Yeah. Why is he like a tooth? Why is he like a tooth? Yeah. I think because he carries teeth back. Oh. Do you think he will bring a tooth fairy pedal cube with him? Uh, maybe. And then bring a cube back to us? Maybe he'll write a note in here. You got your tooth? Let's see it one last time before the tooth fairy takes it. Here we go. Good job. Can you put it in my hand? Look at that tooth. You guys probably don't think that's as cool as I do, but... First tooth, buddy. Your first, but certainly not last. You got a whole mouthful. I don't know. I, I don't know what I will put on no man. You don't yeah, know what to... You You can build a snowman with grandma? Lovey. Maybe. <laughs> Love, they open a snowman with me. Sure, we have to wait till there's more snow, though. Okay. Yeah, there's not enough snow right now. Happy people. <gasps> All right, let's bring your tooth. Where are you going to set it? Do you want to set it by the door so it's easy for them to get? That could work a closet door. Well, we could leave it cracked open if you want. Yeah. Okay. That's because I'm going to put it in here. Do you want to set it under your pillow or do you want to set it by the door? Under my pillow. Under your pillow? Why do you? Okay. You going to put it under your pillow? Oh, my pillow. Right there? Okay, perfect. I love it. Sound good, bud? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mom, yeah. or do you think the supplies will be um, in the pocket? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Mom, what do you think your surprise is going to be? Money. You think it's going to be money? Come. Yeah. How much money? A lot. A lot? My, I see my, um, my, um, my, my Santa present will be a baby. You think your Santa present will be a baby? <laughs> Always a baby with that girl. And a stroller. Really? In a stroller? With a buckle? Cool. <laughs> with two, with two seats. Two seats? Wow. Yeah. Do you like her pajamas she picked out? <laughs> oh, oh. And on that note, we are going to head to bed. So I hope you all had a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.